Let us now continue our discussion. Now suppose I want to change the location of this checkbox. So for that what I will do I will simply click on it and drag and drop it down below to the desired location and drop it here like this. So the location of the checkbox is now changed. Now suppose I want to change the location of the button without dragging and dropping it. So for that I will simply select it and make sure the button is actually selected here as well. Now once this is selected you can simply go to the layout of the button. Click on it and there you will find the row index and the column index. Now I want to place this button at the center here. For this location the row index is 0 but the column index is 1. So I will now make the row index to 0 and now once you change the row index to save the changes click somewhere else. And now change the column index. Yes it is already 1 so let it be 1 only. Right? So now our button is placed at this location. Let us now run our application and verify its location. And yes the button and the checkbox has actually changed their location. Let us now move a step ahead. Suppose I want to change the width of the button. I want this button to occupy the whole cell. So for that I will again select the button and make sure it is selected here as well. And then hold the handle on the right and increase the width of the button like this. And leave it here. Let us now run our application. So now the button occupy the whole cell. And now let us try to increase the height of the button so that it again occupies the whole cell. So for that select the button, make sure it is selected here as well and then drag the blue handle at the top and make it occupy the whole space like this. Let us run our application. And yes the button occupy the whole cell. So in this way you can modify the width and height of a button within the cell. Now suppose I want this button to occupy the whole row. So how can a single button occupy the whole space throughout the row? So for that select the button and on the right hand side you will find under the layout section this row span and the column span. Now if I want this button to occupy the whole row so for that I have to increase the column span of this button. So this button will occupy the 0th column and the 2nd column as well. So let us modify the column span to let's call it 3. Click somewhere else and here it is actually displaying 2 right now. So we actually typed 3 but now it is showing 2. Why it is happening let me talk about it shortly. Now since our column span is now 2 so now we can expand our button to the right as well like this. The button is now occupying the two columns, these two cells. But I want this button to occupy the whole row. So for that we need to change the position of this button. We want this button to be placed in this cell then only it will expand to the right. Because we can't expand the element to the left, right? So for that let us change the location of this button to 0, 0 row. So let us select this button and then change the row index to 0 and also the column index to 0. Click somewhere else and now if you notice it is now occupying this cell and this cell. So now we can easily expand it to the right by changing the column span to 3. It will now be acceptable by the IntelliJ IDE. Let us now expand it to the right. And there we go the button takes the whole row. Because we have the column span of 3 here. Let us run our application. So there we go the button occupies the whole row here to here from left to right. And let us try to experiment more. Suppose I want this column to occupy less space. Because this column does not contain any element except the button at the top. right? So what I can do is I can simply minimize the space this column is taking. So for that what you can do you can simply select the grid pane make sure it is selected and then go to this grid line 
select it and drag it to the left like this and here again you can also resize it like this so now the column 1 and column 2 takes the equal space and the first column takes very less space let us now run our application So here you can notice our first column takes the minimum space and this column and this column takes almost similar space and similarly you can also adjust the row sizes like this by doing it fine. So this was all about the grid pane in JavaFX.